Michael. What? I want to hear the fucking music. We'll hear the music when it comes. Turn it on, you whore. I mean, we gotta wait until all these lovely intro sequences are gone. I want to hear the best. Now nobody's gonna get to hear my joke that I always make about shitty audio coming out of being recorded with a potato. <laughs> and they're gonna miss it because the recording fucked up. Because Michael bought a faulty card. <laughs> it was his fault. Now listen, this one's actually replacement. Cause like I thought the first one was broken, but anyway, here we go. <laughs> I just saw this. It's still funny. <laughs> Whoa! Opening mouths. <laughs> it looks so interlaced. It's the silliest thing I've ever seen, and I love it. Oh man. Oh man, what a classic to see. I just can't even begin to say how great this is. This recreation of everybody's favorite scary show. <laughs> Look at that water. It was literally like a, a cylindrical texture. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that barrel. I can barely stand how great this is. <laughs> oh! Swords! <laughs> Hold on, did they just take those eyes from the original? <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> oh my god. I could have done that. I could have, not the 3D, but I could have made that in Photoshop. Right. Uh, you guys ready so, for Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights? I know I am. Let's get I'm the show ready on to the press road. start. I'm playing because Michael's lazy. <laughs> okay. Just new game. I'm just trying to take in all this. All this high quality. Mm. <laughs> look at the, look on the left. Wow, the readings are are nominal, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on texture one or two? Uh, Eric, I think you should take that thing on the top as a sign that you should start the playthrough. Um. Uh, do you want to start a record label? We can co-sign as uh as <laughs> yes. artists. We are nerds. Voice acting. You smell that salty sea air, Scooby? You know <laughs> what that means, laugh? buddy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Seafood! Fried clams! Tuna <laughs> <Yes>. fish! <laughs> cracked crabs! Tuna salad! Jumbo shrimp! Tuna sushi! Cock! This. All right, you two. Okay, this voice actually does sound really like it was recorded through a potato. Oh. No lobster bisque! <laughs> My ascot is no, chafing. Silly. We're here to solve the mystery. <laughs> Uh, my friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here in her family home. Is that Mystic great of Lyle? <laughs> there's strange, strange going on, goings on. And she can really use You're our driving help. toward the texture. Look, there she is now. <laughs> not. Hey, Holly. Hey, Daphne. I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be pretty, Bella, <laughs> Shaggy, and Scooby Doo. Wow, the whole gang. I've heard so much it about it. It literally Daphne looks like Daphne with black hair. Cases. So I think that is literally what that is. Right her, 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 the top of her head is wider. And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. Just like my pupils. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. Hey, don't tell me! Because it's haunted, right? Yes, <laughs> How do you know? Because it's always haunted! <laughs> <laughs> I just Don't love how worry, it lasts we'll a little bit around. too long. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spoosters, but we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Right here at the old mystery machine. For us. Oh, Pass the ball, Red Scoobs. He's <laughs> the way to be. Man, I his, his okay, facial hair looks scary, almost as good as yours. Fuck you! Okay, you <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. See you later! That was a little mean. You know, Scoob, I can really go for a... Snack? Ruby snack! You read my mind, pal! Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he laugh? Well, what do you know? Ruby <laughs> snacks! Hey there, Scoob! Wait up! Leave some for me! <laughs> Michael's 
lost it? <laughs> Well, you wishy. saw this earlier today. No, I didn't. Yes. Wishy, well, what's this? Did you skip it? I just opened the save file. Oh. Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby Doo! <laughs> do you know what? I didn't realize until we started playing this how great, oh. like, how great of an idea this was. <laughs> You know why? Why? Because in addition to it being amazing and running in 12 frames per second, <laughs> you love Hanna-Barbera sound effects. And this is like based off of a Hanna-Barbera show. So there will only be Hanna-Barbera sound effects, and it'll be great. So how do you play this goddamn game? Um, I think B makes you run. So... <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, one time I tried to leave the door to head to, head to school. So in case you're uh, one, one of snacks. every single person in existence, and you don't know what this game is... <laughs> um, Hold on. This was not the best game of all time. <laughs> right, we actually, we actually had a brief... Give me the clothes! We had a brief little recording fuck up there. Give me the giant floating egg McGuffins! <laughs> Something this game doesn't seem to like the capture card. I don't know what it is because we've had three recording errors already And we're only like five minutes into the game. It hey doesn't bode well guys. Oh, no, they're broken Oh, we should get a carpenter out to fix these. Oh, oh wait. Never mind. <laughs> I so, feel like there's a real mystery we should be solving. <laughs> That's the real mystery. So, in case you guys don't know, <laughs> this game you've has been living under created a... an original tire swinging engine. <laughs> Properly, they, they rope pole. you in. <laughs> they really rope you in. I mean, I'm get, I'm personally really tired of it. <laughs> but some, I mean, if, if you're new to the game, uh, we, we, you might uh, find this to be a, a, a romp and rolling good time. Yep. Other tired joke. So in case you guys haven't heard of this game, it's actually kind of <laughs> if that in case that's the case. Yeah, in case in that's case the this case. wasn't your favorite childhood games. Is this game is actually Michael called kind of me unique. retarded earlier. Uh, yeah. So you can go give him complaints and tell him how like how improper that is. And how um, rude. So this game is actually kind of unique because it sort of mixes elements of the collectathon and Metroidvania genres together. Oh guys, how do you think that's hanging in the air? That's right. Little helicopter thingy. <laughs> Duh. What are you, an idiot? God, you fucking idiots. So Didn't it's sort of like a little. collect -a thon in that you have to... The the Scooby Snacks are kind of like gems from Spyro in this game, or uh, music notes from Is there Banjo 100% Kazoo? for getting all these? I, I don't think we need to bother getting every single Scooby Snack in the game. Do but we need... Like, should I be bothering right now? I think if... If you can see them and they're easy to get, you might as well grab them. Like these things in the air that are a pain in the ass. Uh, I will leave it up to you. I mean, like, worst case scenario, we don't have enough to go through a gate and we have to backtrack. Hmm, and, and then we give up, right? Uh, <laughs> right? right My Eric, I thought you were super Michael. excited to do this game. Ah, uh, you don't want to... See, what I'm surprised by is you saying, uh, no 100%. Well, I I figured that since you were playing that you this is of this course game. I would hate it, but that's that's like the first time we 100%ed Enter the Dragonfly. <laughs> okay. One of the gems disappeared and didn't exist. It shouldn't have even been possible. Do you? All right. Do you want okay. me to get on your case for it? No, I don't. I'm all just right. I'm just surprised is all. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. Look at the, by the way, look at that slide. Like how it just it's just like a flat top and then just becomes a slope. So I don't know whether or not we got in uh Don Knox. Uh, real quick. Yeah, Don Knotts is the voice of the groundskeeper for some he reason. Seems like a real nice guy. <laughs> So, the since this is Scooby-Doo... I don't like the way you're treating the subject matter. Oh, because it's a tree. Yeah. Nice job. I really like that joke you just made there, Michael. Mm. <laughs> oh, sound effects? All Hanna-Barbera. Give it to us. Give us more. I want every time the jump to be made by, like, a spring. Like, you can practically see some old begrudging employee in the sound booth in 1930 <laughs> flicking a spring so that many years later that a sound effect can be used every time a dog jumps in a fucking video game <laughs> oh my goodness 
So that's the mystical playground out of the way? Yep. Is that what that was? Yep, so now we have enough Scooby Snacks to enter the mansion proper. Oh. Or we could go down to Smuggler's Cove. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, that thing, Eric, right there, back there was the warp gate. Oh, I'm so intrigued. 100. That's I want to see the gallery. monster gallery. Oh no, I don't have 150 snacks. I like how that lighthouse in the background is just a texture. Yeah, so basically what that does is when you activate them, it gets, it's basically like a an easy way to get around the world. Because that's the Metroidvania aspect of this game, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to tell if it was a lighthouse if not for that other texture. <laughs> that's Actually, a that's a polygon. Yeah, yeah. they're... Sorry. Yeah, so basically the game is very has a huge emphasis on exploration. You gotta, you know <laughs> Guys, are you ready for some glamour in the manor? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I I'm stunned. <laughs> the running sound effect. <laughs> I'm stunned. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Michael, this is almost as scary as a creepypasta. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out look, for the bats. Scooby-Doo, I'm so... Oh my god, I don't care. Mastermind, look at your map. <laughs> yeah, the Mastermind is the villain in this game. Yeah, I think you can jump through those paintings. her dad, there. who disappeared. The end. Yeah. The end. That's that's what happened. There was a little place you could go back behind that. Dog. I don't care. You know what else? There was also another place I could go. This place. The end. Watch out, <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Oh my gosh, what is? <laughs> I didn't know my dad was in this game. <laughs> oh my god, it's a web of lies and deceit. Looks like we guys, can't go hold that on. Way. We don't have the helmet. Back, back up. Yeah, see, that's how this game is like a Metroid game. <laughs> wow. You, you need to collect certain equipment in order to progress. And you gotta explore to find shit, that's... like Scooby Snacks and whatnot. So, so we're gonna... Did I, think... I just lose progress? No. No, I didn't. So... Yeah, deaths mean nothing but sending you back places. It, and it gets kind of annoying in the later parts of the game where it gets more platformy, you know? I hope this game is easy. I, I don't think Arts. it's that hard, honestly. I think it'll be fine. So I need the spring so far put somewhere in between zero and no effort. <laughs> what do you mean there's a place I could go? That was go, but there was a book back there on the shelf. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the book. I'm yeah. sorry. You can bash the book. Oh, I in missed with your the head. Bible. I missed the Bible. Oh, I guess you need, I need a helmet the for mastermind's that. helmet, guys. Hold on. Let me just backtrack a bit. <laughs> right, I think you need to go to the fisherman's pier. You gotta leave. <laughs> Michael says. Yeah, I didn't gotta... know you were Scooby Doo master of a hundred dicks <laughs> story adventure. The Iliad 2 yeah. historian. And by the way, I like how whenever it's there's a loading screen, it's literally just a JPEG with Scooby Doo smiling at you. <laughs> Listen, I'd rather that than have him flying around in circles. We're gonna save over uh, the. You should. You know what you should do, Michael? You what? should make up a bunch of like Scooby Doo things. I can't go in the haunted hedge maze, guys, yet. I don't have the key. <laughs> I can't quite reach it. <laughs> <laughs> they literally just put it in front of it. That's that amazing. is game design right there, my friends. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you get a double jump. Yeah. There's By the way, the mastermind is her missing uncle or whatever. Missing nephew. The end. By the way, did I, like, did I mention? I just want to make sure everybody got that spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in case you, you weren't listening, the mastermind, the main villain, is the guy who disappeared. Don Knotts is also an accomplice. I don't know that. I think he's actually alright. I just wish I had enough Scooby Snacks to visit the monster gallery. <laughs> Did you hear that yep. noise I made? <laughs> Not the fucking head of Barbera sound effects. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that plays every time I stub my toe. <laughs> Oh my Guys, god, we can't can we... get into the Smuggler's Cove without the did key. Did you get the key? What do you mean, did I get the you key? You got a key. No, I didn't. Like, didn't you? No. Oh, wait, go talk to the groundskeeper guy. <laughs> I see, see once again. <laughs> Here, dog, take the shovel and look for the key. Alright, so you can dig wherever there's a flower. Shut up, Don Knox, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear? 
Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Does he look like he? he Why does... can't I dig up this beautiful flower? There you go. <laughs> you got it. I want a sandwich. <laughs> That's been buried. It's the rare sandwich plant. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this I was is having amazing. I was having problems digging up that flower. All right, so but now then I was able to do to it. So it's fine. Cove. Looks like. Got it. He, he like the running is all wonky. Like I'm not. St I I keep holding B. Uh, yeah, it takes a little while to get going. Hey, look, it's him. Yeah, I think if anything, I'm. That's the mystery. How Don Knox gets around and how uh, those things rebuild themselves. That is the best looking barrel fish I've ever seen. Michael said. It, it's literally just a without a hint of irony. <sighs> Whatever. Well, hey, look, a bunch of collective not, owls. Not if I was playing, I would have bothered to get those. <laughs> so I think get Eric's going to help us keep this thing moving along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep us moving along at a steady clip here. Let me just jump on that fish whatever. It's a net full of fish. And those are literally flying fish. <laughs> Did he? Zoinks! And he really went, rope, frying fish! Did, is, did, is, is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, rats. I think you can bash him. You can bash rats. <laughs> you can bash rats. <laughs> I need the double jump to get that. I think it's somewhere in this area. So you keep moving along. Go so far, that's way. been the thing barring me from getting sl objects just s conveniently slightly higher than my jump capabilities. <laughs> hey, look, it's an ice cube with a caveman in it. That's <laughs> Brendan Fraser. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh He's my mad God. about his career. <laughs> Or lack that. I used to be in good movies. <laughs> like like the Encino Mummy. Man. <laughs> Everybody's favorite movie, Encino Man. Starring Nicolas Cage. What, was Nicolas Cage in that? No. Oh. Of course not. Was George Archisuclos in there? Um, Almost he, was, he was in there to talk about how the caveman was actually an alien, yes. No, he was an alien human hybrid. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my, hold on. I like how the subtitles for, for Scooby. Well, whatever. So now we're gonna work with Shaggy. Why is his name Shaggy? Because he's covered in hair. Oh. His real name's Norville. Is right. it really? You have to go team up with Shaggy. You would know that if you hadn't skipped the dialogue. Whatever. Alright, so you. I think, Come on. <laughs> I think you put him on that thing and then that opens it. <laughs> the end. And that was the end of Shaggy. <laughs> now you can jump on him and swing around to get that shit. That is absurd. <laughs> that visual. What am I supposed to be trying to do here? Jump on that thing. Well, there you there go. There you go. And let me guess, it stays there. Oh no. Fuckface stays there. Mm -hmm. But now I missed out on all those Scooby snacks. Well, you oh can no. just jump on his legs. As though I care. <laughs> Guys, watch out for the hook and the caveman. <laughs> oh, quick, grab the Scooby snacks. <laughs> Oh, zoinks, I fell in the river. Hold on a minute. Now you can't get them ever. Until you get the spring, of course. <laughs> Michael says. Once again, historian of Scooby-Doo documents. <laughs> My, like, little invincible frames last, like, 90 billion years. So are you able to kill any of the monsters? Yes, you just need a, the helmet, at least. <laughs> I need the Mastermind's helmet and your yep. spring. Don't forget to grab the thing. I need Warp the boots. Case. I remember there being boots. Guys, it's okay. I have 50 snacks. I know you were worried. <laughs> you need much more than that just to get into the monster gallery. Yeah, you need like 150 snacks to get in the monster gallery. What do you think this is? This is a uh, sale?